In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of fresh Blender geometry nodes and procedural generators that I'm positive many of you guys will find useful and helpful. And we're gonna cover a lot of interesting stuff from futuristic cityscapes and wild west terrains to complex road networks and beautiful nature elements. Before we continue, I wanna talk about Pixpa. Pixpa is a website builder for artists, designers, photographers, and creatives who want to show the world their work, and it doesn't require any coding on your part. So, Pixpa gives you the possibility to build and manage professional-looking websites, including a built-in online store, a blog, and client galleries. And this is what you can call an all-in-one platform that will give you everything you will need to showcase, share, and even sell your work online, and grow your business and online presence. This actually makes it a great place to build and showcase your portfolio in a professional way, which may lead to you getting more clients. From what I can see, BigSpot is highly rated and trusted by creative professionals, and it offers a 15-day free trial to test it out. You can get BigSpot's basic plan for $8 a month, or you can opt for the more advanced plans going for $25 a month. There is also an option to get the yearly and two-year subscriptions for $3.6 a month and up to $11.25 a month. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with Sci-Fi Texture Generator. My first impression about this one is that it's gonna help you with all sorts of futuristic sci-fi scenes. This is the case because it is featuring over 29 ready-to-use presets that you can either use directly or customize to your liking. On top of that, you can layer and combine multiple presets at the same time to get even more complex and detailed materials. And to make it super simple to use, it comes with automated batch export button, which I think makes the process of generating multiple textures at once as simple as it gets. And as you might expect from this developer, this tool comes with a level of customizability that you will get access to in order to make these textures truly interesting according to your needs. And as a bonus, Sci-Fi Texture Generator includes six project files, including a blend file and a PSD file for you to explore and learn from it. And now let's talk about something called Building Generator, which helps you create modern cityscapes with geometry nodes. And from the first look at this one, this generator lets you quickly create customizable buildings that suit any urban scene using a couple of pre-made assets. But you can use your own models by specifying them in the GeoNode Modifier tab. The setup offers full control over structures, and each building consists of a ground floor, trims, and a set of floors that you can easily increase or decrease in number. You can also add personalized assets to the GeoNodes panel, making each building truly unique. And for the final touch, you can add a new name board with customizable fonts to bring a modern, vibrant look to your projects. And if you want to create cities or projects that require creating cities, I think this will help. Now, let's dive into the Wild West with a GeoNodes modifier called the Wild West Desert Terrain. I think this generator can be a great choice for those looking to create all sorts of dry and sandy landscapes for game development, animation, or just any project that requires these environments, really. And from what I can see, with this generator, you can easily blend textures like dirt, gravel, and rock to craft realistic desert floors. And while the intuitive sliders make pebble distribution super simple to operate, you need to be creative to get something interesting. And it even comes with vertex painting support for smooth transitions between ground types, which I think gives you variation to create different stuff. But the best part is that the object scattering system lets you populate your scene with cacti, shrubs, and more, and it comes with adjustable density settings. In addition, to keep everything running smoothly inside your project, the generator is optimized to handle heavy scenes, which is interesting, so you won't have to worry too much about Blender crashing on you. Now let's switch gears and get into some vintage furniture design with the Carpenter add-on. So this geometry node setup is all about bringing that classic and vintage charm to your Blender projects, and I think this makes it a solid choice 
for anyone working on interior designs or historical recreations. The good thing is that you can control lots of details, from the shape and structure of the table legs to cushions and backrests for chairs and sofas. And as I can see, this flexibility lets you create anything from elegant tables to cozy seats. But it doesn't stop there. You will find a variety of built-in procedural materials allowing you to apply realistic wood textures to your models with ease. So if you are making intricate cabinets with antique handles or designing custom furniture, I mean if you want to make some modern space, this add-on is something worth looking into. Now after making those detailed furniture pieces, it is time to add some nature to your scenes using the birds and bees generator. This tool allows you to easily add realistic flocks of birds or swarms of bees, which is all about making your scenes feel natural of course. You know, adding a natural environment or just adding a dynamic element to your animation. To make it easier for you, you can take advantage of the curve based flight paths and you can set up everything from orderly v-shaped bird formations to a chaotic buzz of bees around the hive, which is everything you're gonna need really. The controls are straightforward but powerful too, allowing you to adjust the number of creatures, their movement speed, and even individual behaviors to match the vibe you're going for. Plus, features like scale randomness and customizable wing flaps make it easier for you to create a natural look, which is a fantastic way to add that extra layer of realism in addition to movement to your project with little to no effort. And now we're gonna talk about an asset library called VFX Energy Orbs. Unlike the other ones, this collection is packed with ready-to-use orb assets that you can import straight to your asset library. These orbs are created using geometry nodes, which obviously gives you full control over various settings, and you can customize everything from the number and length of the rays, core radius, spark density, and spread, in addition to the fume radius to create that perfect orb effect. You also have control over materials, with options to tweak surface colors, strength, particle and core colors, in addition to other stuff. And if you are looking to add more action, the plasma orb can even short lighting towards specific object by assigning them to the collection. And just like that, you have a pretty neat interactive effect that you can play around with. Now let's talk about something much simpler which is all about creating roads with the roads must roll. And this one is a geometry node setup that allows you to create everything from city streets to complex highways, which is all based on curves, making it really versatile and easy to use. The good thing is that it comes with 150 settings a tweak, and you can customize each road to suit your project even if you want 10 traffic lanes. Plus, you will get stuff like bike lanes, parking strips, in addition to other stuff you can play around with. And it also comes with 14 procedural assets, including traffic signs, lights, and 9 preset traffic junctions, which is pretty cool. And to add even more realism, it includes 6 high quality cars that you can animate along the roads and bridges, which is a nice bonus I would say. Now we're gonna talk about Geomoss Pro. I think this one is a good option for generating realistic moss and vegetation for your 3D environments. Simply because it is really easy to use and you can quickly draw and scatter moss across any surface using intuitive tools like the draw moss and scatter moss systems. And of course, we can't forget about the built-in physics simulation nodes that can ensure that your moss conforms accurately to your models, adapting to the surface and curvature of your geometry which can be really great. But it doesn't stop there. You can also add dynamic wind and physics effects, making the mass and vegetation sway naturally, which is required if you want your scenes to be believable. In addition, with customizable settings for density, scale and rotation, you can have greater control over your settings, which I think is mandatory. Now talking about the numbers, the custom asset library offers over 280 assets, giving you a rich collection of moss biomes that you can use in different projects. Geometry nodes can also do other amazing things like the ability to easily add realistic cracks, damage and internal structures like rebar and wire meshes. And with this tool called Destruction Tools, you can create detailed cracks on walls and floors and adjust their position, scale and noise strength. Another thing worth mentioning is the ability to add intricate damage details, 
which is gonna be useful for simulating collapse structures. And if you need an internal element, you can use the rebar and wire mesh tools to add structural integrity and other details. On top of that, the debris tools scatter rocks and rubble, while the pile up and scatter tools help you stack debris and distribute it around the scene. Last but not least, let's talk about Easy Road Generator. And this one simplifies the process of creating realistic mountain roads. Just draw a curve and the road, complete with guardrails, rocks and streetlights, will take shape. You can also toggle these details on and off. In addition, you can adjust their density and even choose between different terrains, I mean terrain styles like grass covered or ragged mountains. But it doesn't stop there, since you can use it for night scenes as well by switching on the street lights. And you can also add a touch of realism with procedural cracks along the road, in addition to other details that you can add. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these geometry node generators, procedural generators, and all the stuff I mentioned in this video, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more content like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.